Tokaland means Tokaland. <laughs> Mesmerized by Telegraph News about a final Victorian referendum, Colonel Frederick Burnaby, ever the adventurer, riding his mammoth, grabs his blue passport and leaves Singapore on the fence through a contraband Prosecco supernova for Doggerland. Doggerland, the champion of frictionless trade across the deltas of free-flowing spirits where the Thames, the Rhine and La Seine all join together <coughs> at Lake Ulster. The lions, rhinos and unicorns are hunted on the banks of a hip and vintage Q-Jumpers tax haven. Burnaby enjoying free movement as a time traveler Therefore, a citizen of nowhere in Neverland takes bus number 350 to Stone Age Brussels, a cave of chocolate painted over with marmite bubbles, to meet a fellow hunter gatherer over Pomfrit and Cherry Beer, Arthur Cofield, the father of the single Stonehenge. And both sign football into existence and into extinction Honda, Nissan, Oasis, Blur, Ringo and the Rhino. Burnaby with Cofield holding on to him with goalkeeper gloves and wearing the jersey of FC Abuclear reaches the home of the stockpiling saber-toothed tiger in red white, blue, Atlantis, or maybe it's Sudan, the birthplace of European civilization, where the colonel gets a spear to his neck during an endless leadership game of his imploding party. Cofield pulls it out, throws it away, and Burnaby survives the blitz. The Sudanese spear flies unchecked through various trade zones to the moon, hitting Neil Armstrong and his Scottish ancestors with excitement. So they migrate alongside drowning Doggerlanders, hunter gatherers to the Midlands and up north to find work in the spearheading Japanese mammoth production. Finally, Burnaby feels heavy metal. He gets into the queue to jump over the old billiard table, which is in place since 1604, since Parliament started debating the conflicted inner nationhood of the mammoth, its project fear of extinction, and Burnaby tenderly strokes its trunk and gets its head done while it's still young, how tender is the moon, until the mammoth joins Schrödinger's cat for a safari over a Sahara rainbow. Now, now Burnaby suddenly realizes his Tory's biggest miscalculation, a strong and stable stone age. <laughs> Soldierly, Burnaby revokes the Mesolithic, revokes the Camel Corps, <laughs> revokes Ringo and the Glaciers, revokes all Irish border barriers, those meaningful needles for unregulated women. He even revokes all trawlers stretching up, crystal balls, snap elections, prehistoric 50p coins, and petrified Brussels sprouts from the octopus's garden of the passport blue seabed of Copperland. Passport blue seabed. Okay. 
bearing in mind that this is a hypothetical category of tidally locked planet, bearing in mind that tidal locking in this instance induces spatial features that appear to us like Sometimes she does not enter the kitchen, sometimes she lies upstairs and only paints them in the backs of her eyelids, bearing in mind that liquids are present. The lenses are mirrored and silver and at the same time have the colour blue in them. When she puts them on she knows that no one can quite see where her eyes are now. Bearing in mind there is a temperature gradient, and Claudia's necklace is an owl with huge eyes and hideous, bearing in mind that the planet will thus be hotter on the side that is facing towards the star, bearing in mind that the star far side is cooler, and his hair is darker, also on his legs. Fiorentina is following them both with her eyes, and she sees the wall in the mirror before she finds her own eyes, and her mother's eyes rattle when she looks at her, like they sometimes do when she shakes the carpets off the balcony. Bearing in mind that Kepler object of interest 262601 is potentially to be classed in this category. Claudia brings the teardrop piece up to her eye. I haven't seen them here, she says, but I haven't ever looked, I suppose. Her mother shuts her eyes. You remember them or not, she says. Her eyes hurt more when she tries to be asleep. Bearing in mind that this temperature gradient may, it is Claudia. It is like remembering that her eyes do not need to be always heavy, bearing in mind the scalded side. She tries to draw the shape with her eyes. It doesn't work and the corridor is empty. She tries to draw the shape with her eyes. It doesn't work and the corridor is empty. Bearing in mind that eyeball planets may be common and could conceivably host life of some kind. Eyeball planets could host life, weil ich bin innen direkt hier hinter dem reinen Weiß. Ich bin Farbquelle, Fehlstelle, Gestänge, kurz Experimentalgesang. Steig nicht auf meinen Klangkörper. Es sei denn, du willst abtauchen in die Mechanik der Pigmente, in die offene Pore Sehkraft, ins polierte Lichtschaltpult. Sieh durch mich durch. Ich bin innen im Stellwerk aller Farben und schieb Still, das Gebirge nach außen, den Sichtschutz. Im Sternwerk alle Farben, das mache ich hier. On Thursday, open brackets, the 30th, close brackets, Candice and I finally fit the bullet. Our plan for the day was to visit my old stomping grounds. I was in the 2nd Armoured Division, 2nd Squadron, 2nd Cavalry, 2nd Regiment of Dragoons from 1981 to 89 or something. I can't remember exactly without digging out all the paperwork, which I'm not in a position to do right now. Anyway, follow along. Uh, here we are, driving up to the main gate, see below. There's some kind of traffic circle there now, right in front of the old entrance with a giant golden pushpin stuck in the middle, like it's being injected directly into an organ. I guess that's what you might call art. Smiling tongue out face. <laughs> the older one, below, was taken in the 80s, in the same spot as the one seen above. That huge green fence in the background you can see was a sort of sound barrier for the local houses on the outskirts. Wish I knew what happened to this old pal in the pit, though, below. All I know is his last name was Collins. Never heard of him again after I drove him to the airport that one time. Here's a few more buildings. Uh, some of my old buddies may recall. Once again, same vantage point below. Uh, oh, and look, here's Candy's back in the day. Wow. 
uh, first and second floor hallways in the museum. Mike's pizza shop is still there, Candice tried the schnitzel. Anyone ever hear from Peterson? Come here. Um, if, and if you're bored to hell with all the pictures, let me just tell you this one thing. When I went back, I discovered that I couldn't speak a word of German. Not that I ever really could, I'll admit. But get this, back in the land of the free, four weeks later, home sweet home, or whatever it is you're kind of obliged to say, I switched over to the German channels on the TV and had this total memory lane epiphany or something. I understood every goddamn word. Basically, I watched this one show about retired folks going speed dating. The glowing of old age or something it was called. So Hildegard sits across from Bernhardt and says, Ich bin immer noch viel im Tierschutz unterwegs. And Bernhardt cries because he can't think of anything to say back. Was soll ich jetzt von mir erzählen? Wo sind denn meine Interessen? Every goddamn word, I swear. Uh, jetzt kommt der Wunsch nach körperlicher Nähe. Mein Arzt behauptet, dass das ein Einsamkeitssyndrom ist. Ich wollte erst Förster werden, dann Franzose, dann Schriftsteller. Habe Hunde zum Beispiel aus dem Versuchslabor gerettet und rausgeholt gegen Bestechung der Werte. Ein Geheimnis zu haben, na das finde ich schön. Wie soll ich denn etwas von mir sagen auf einmal? Every single word, I'm telling you. Even all the crap about the suicidal animals. Mein Wellensittich hatte sich dann an der Gardine erhängt. It was like a phrase that they published for my broken brain alone or something. Anyway, uh, here's the view of the open quadrangle below. That's where we always used to hold formations. And I spotted some of the pink behind the radiator in my old room, if anyone even gives a frank a doodle uh, about left. But I still wonder what happened to that sound barrier, that green, and then also that dude, Collins. You know? Collins, Collins. Let's talk about Collins. Yeah, well, is this dude Phil Collins? Maybe it's Phil Collins then. <laughs> Moscow is immer a zwilling von Elvis, von Geronimo, Bruder von B.B. King. Beide auf der Bühne. Ewig am roten Platz spielen sie den Blues. Jeder den seinen. Monday morning oder back in the USSR. Ohrwürmer für alle Fotoalben, bis die rostroten Bilder über alte und neue Vorhänge bis vors Fenster meines Kinderzimmers fließen, wo ich einst im Alter von R2D2 mit den Kindern amerikanische Soldaten spielte. Deportation, or courts, 
savages. So now, just a second. Mm -hmm. Here comes the fuel. I... There's something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, bugs, prime, <coughs> passive piss kettles. Unimportant poetry. <laughs> Revision, great morning, okay, recently, obviously. Psychological. I, I just don't know who you are anymore, Frank. But I booked a table for two tonight, so if you're interested, maybe we can talk. <laughs>